What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Abby Rose, and I am back with another video. Yes, we are back and we are in action. So, today's video, as you see by the title, is my biggest pet peeves, but this is the work edition. This is when I go to work, what really gets me tight about these customers, all right? Now, I did a, my pet peeves, um... A couple weeks ago about like you know just my regular pet peeves so if you guys want to go see that I'll link it down below for you guys um, okay so before I really get into this video let me give you a backstory okay so I work in retail where I have to deal with customers all the time I work in a shoe store I'm not gonna tell you which shoe store I work in if you guys have me on snapchat which you you should go follow if you have me on Snapchat, you already know where I work at. If you guys want to know, you know, if you want to be nosy, go ahead and hit me up and I'll tell you. You know, I don't really care. So, I work in a shoe store where I have to deal with customers and it's just a lot going on, okay? So, now let's really get into this video. So, my first biggest pet peeve that I have of dealing with customers is... Customers that decide to touch every merchandise around them and just want to mess it up. Like that one customer that comes in, wants to touch all the shirts, pick it up, and then throw it back. Or touch all the shoes, um, unlace, the, unlace the laces, and then put it back on the wall. Like, they love to touch everything and mess up the merchandise. Like, I literally just fixed that. And you want to touch it? That is so rude. Like, literally, that's just so rude. And it really gets me mad because all the hard work that I put into the store to make it look nice, and you just go, come in, you just go mess it up. That's crazy. That's real crazy. You know that? That's real crazy. Okay, so the next one is those customers that love to come into the store, ask you to bring out mad stuff, and they don't buy nothing. Like, okay, so I work in a shoe store, right? So when a customer asks to see a shoe, I have to go bring out the whole box for them to try it on and everything. So when I bring it out, it's a lot of work. You know, it's not just bringing it out of, you know, the shelf. I have to go upstairs and go take it out and then go back downstairs to give it to the customer, you know? So I bring out mad shoes or mad clothes for this customer. They try it on. They fill in themselves and they like, oh, I'll come back. I'll come back. And now I have to put all the stuff that they tried on back where I found it. Like, what kind of customers really get me mad? They honestly get, really get me mad because it's like, don't come into a store, try on everything in the store, and then not buy anything. Like, that's just a waste of time and a waste of my time and just a lot of work for me, you know? Like, no, like, that's just, no, just don't do that, okay? Next. All right, so this next pet peeve that I have is because I work with a lot of tourists, okay? So... Where I work at, we get a lot of people that are not from New York or not from the United States, so they speak different languages. And I'm not saying it's a problem because I understand not everybody can speak English, but you know, come on. So my biggest pet peeve right now is the no English speaking customers. So they come into the store and they don't speak English. Like, they just don't speak any type of English. And they come to the store and they try to ask for help or they try to do stuff and they just don't know what they're doing so i have no problems with people out of country all right those are my favorite people i love talking to them but then it's really it really gets me it really gets under my skin when i have to talk to a customer that doesn't speak any english if i was to go to another country right i would do my best to at least try to learn a couple words or download an app so I could communicate with somebody in that country. Because I'm not just about to come to a country and shop around. And then I can't even get help because I don't speak any, you know, I don't speak their language. I don't understand how people could come into the United States and not speak any English. Like, so the best I could do is speak Spanish. I could speak Spanish. So, when my Spanish speakers come in, that's the most I can help. But when you have these French speakers coming in, these people that speak Italian, I can't, I can't do it. Like, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't. Or Portuguese, like, I, I can't. I can speak Spanish, that's it. If you could speak a little bit of Spanish, I could do that. But you're going to have to learn some English for me, you know? Like, I can't. Like, I really can't. Next. Okay, so the next one is those customers that get mad. When we don't have their size in something or the type of merchandise that they're looking for. So let me give you a quick little story. So I was working once, right? And this customer came up to me and was like, can I have a size 7 in this shoe right here? And I was like, sure, let me look it up. I looked it up and it, show and it showed that we didn't have their size. So I told the customer and he, and he was like, why? Why, why? why you guys don't have the size? 
And I'm like, because people buy it and it's a it's a popular product. So people buy it all the time and we just don't have your size anymore. It's not that we don't carry your size, it's that we don't have your size anymore. So he's like, you guys are lying, you guys are lying, you have you have my size, you just don't want to give it to me. I'm like, sir, you can see on the computer, it says we don't have your size, you know. Those type of people really get me mad because it's like, don't come into a store getting crazy with me. And we don't have your product. Like, it's not my fault we don't have your size or we don't have your merchandise that you're looking for. Like, you can't just come into a random store and expect everybody to have your size when you want to come three days late after something popular release. Like, that's not how it works over here. Okay? Like, it, it's not. You can't, you can't be doing that. You have to pick and choose. You got to pick and choose. Next. Uh, so this is the last one, all right? Those customers that ask for popular items knowing that they sell out mad quick okay that's like if i come into a store and i'm asking for yeezys after five days it has been released you think there's gonna be yeezys in the store exactly now now i work in a shoe store so we get a lot of questions like that where they're asking do you have yeezys do you have this shoe do you have this thing do you have that after like Three days after they came out and it's like I have to keep repeating myself that no we don't have you have to come on the day of you have to come the morning of and get your shoe or get your shirt whatever you're getting so it's like that really gets me mad after a while because if you're really like a fan of getting sneakers all the time you would know that these sneakers do not come out and then they just stay out you know they come out and then they they get out like they literally just everybody takes them I had a customer once come up to me and um they asked, Oh, do you have do you do you have do you guys have Yeezy still in stock? So I said, No, sir, they go really quick, so we don't have them no more in stock. So he was like, You sure? Can you check in the back if you guys have them? I was like, Sir, sir, if we had Yeezys in the back, you don't think that I would have been taking it by now? I would have been scooped it up and taken it right after right after I finished working. Like, don't. So he starts laughing, and it's like, I'm not even kidding. I'm dead serious because Yeezys is one of those things where it's mad popular, and people take it the first hour. We will never have Yeezys just lying around, like, you know, chilling. That's not how it works, but I guess some people don't know that, so whatever. But this was um my pet peeves in the work world i hope you guys enjoyed it um i will be making a video right after this so you guys could stay tuned for that one i hope you guys liked my last video um bronx girl trying korean snacks um if you guys want me to do more videos like that definitely let me know if you guys want me to talk more stuff whoa earthquake if you guys want me to talk more on my videos just let me know too and give me more topics to talk about because you know i like doing that but you already know what to do this is your time to be nosy go follow on my social media right here i don't understand why people keep texting me like but yeah go follow my social media uh what else do i say i think that's it <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye